You'll need to make sure that you have a cork ring and your round bottom flasso is only half full, as well as the blue clamps found in your drawer. You'll be using the RotoVap again as you did last week. The RotoVap will evaporate off your solvent at low temperatures. Here you have a temperature bath, a coolant, a water coolant. You also have two green knobs, which is the temperature and the spin. The spin will be the bottom button. The large round bottom flask is where the solvent will be condensing into. And then you have the bump trap. This is the bump trap. The bump trap helps to avoid the occasional bumping of a solvent. Here you also have the button that allows you to bring the rotovap down into the water vap. First thing you will do is turn on the water. As you can see, the water is running through the water coolant. Then, you will turn on the vacuum. Next, you will attach your flask to the bump trap using a clamp. Making sure that it is only half full again. You will then open the vent, close the vent, very slowly to make sure that none of the solvent is pulled up. Lower the rotovap into the water bath. Then turn the lowest green button on. Slowly start the spin. As you can see, the solvent is being evaporated off. You want to make sure that you do not have a temperature higher than 35 degrees Celsius in the water bath. You want to make sure that for this solvent, dichloromethane, that the temperature is no higher than 35 degrees Celsius. But for other organic solvents, the temperature will vary depending on what its boiling point is. Also, when holding the round bottom flask, you want to make sure that you're holding it from the bottom, cupping the bottom if you will, to make sure that you don't drop the flask when trying to attach it to the bump trap. Once the solvent has been evaporated off until about 0.5 to 1 milliliters for this experiment, you will need to first turn the vacuum off, release the vent, bring the round bottom flask out of the water bath, Turn off the spin, turn off the temperature, and then turn off the rotovap itself. You will then remove the clamp and holding the round bottom flask from the bottom, slowly remove the flask from the bump trap. Make sure to clean the bump trap if it has gotten dirty. Also, you want to make sure that you turn off the water.